Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Mad's Mom 8 Still looking for a babysitter in the area. Please don't comment if you're not interested. Monday through Friday, 6.30 till 4-ish, $130 a week. You're offering $2.60 per hour? And the only thing this beggar is going to see is somebody commented when they were asked not to. Not anything wrong with what they're paying. This next one is by Freckles101. Hi guys, my fridge freezer just gave up on me, so I'm looking to see if anyone has one. Thanks in advance. Sorry guys, my toaster and kettle gave up on me now. Honestly, can this day get any worse? <laughs> Beggar, see my post today, once approved, in case this fridge freezer is any use to you. Sends pick. And another pick. This would be perfect if it had three freezer drawers. It had two drawers and a shelf. If you're desperate for something as important as this, it doesn't pay to be picky. Hopefully you took it anyway. I think the only thing being took in this case was the beggar being taken over by their begging ways. This next one is from Military Baker. Lenovo Laptop, 600 Swedish Krona. 350. 600 and you can have it. It's good price, 400, please. Not for me. Give me free, please, please give me. Yeah, sure. Just tell me where you live and I'll be there in 20 minutes. Son's address. Should I also pay you for taking it from me? I feel like that last bit had the beggar getting it, otherwise they'd most likely reply with yes, of course, pay me too. This next one is by Total Brodell. So, Joe made a comment about us being registered at places for our 10 year anniversary. We actually are not. However, we are accepting gift cards to places, Target, Menards, NFM, wall-to-wall -wall wine, restaurants, etc. We're definitely not joking either. People accept gift cards for all sorts of shit. Why can't we for our tenure? Remember, we are not traditional. <laughs> I don't even understand what not being traditional has anything to do with basically begging for shit because you've been married X amount of years. This next one is from Cheryl Meredith. I do not want alcohol in my vanilla extract. I'm looking for the recipe without the alcohol. Why can't anybody help me? I asked for the recipe for non-alcoholic homemade vanilla, but no one has answered me yet. Sends link. It took me seconds to Google. The recipe that I had and lost was just water and vanilla beans, but I can't remember how much water and how many vanilla beans. All I remember was that you boiled the water and added the vanilla beans. I also don't remember how long or how long to let it sit until it's ready to use. Again, 5 seconds and Google is your pal. Sends link. I said non-alcoholic vanilla with just water and vanilla beans. Yes, and the desserts with benefits page has just that. Water and beans with a small amount of salt. You're welcome. I still can't get anyone to tell me how to make it alcohol free, sugar free, or any sweetening free and salt free. I had a recipe, but now I can't find it. Beggar, I posted this before for you. You must use a bit of salt to help preserve the extract. But there is no alcohol or sweetener in this. Sends Link. What a useful Link, Green. I never thought it was possible to make alcohol-free extract, much less one that would keep unrefrigerated. It's so nice of you to take time out of your day to find this for those of us who haven't been able to look up the recipe ourselves. Just wanted to let you know that your effort is appreciated. Thank you. 
I don't understand how it's so difficult to search anything in Google. I feel like all you do is type alcohol-free, sugar-free, salt-free vanilla extract recipe, and you'd most likely come up with something. But a lot of people, or rather a lot of these beggars, want everybody to do the work for them instead of them trying to use the brain that I'm starting to think they don't really have. This next one is by Mr. Favorable. Graded Pokemon cards. Yes, are you interested? Thumbs up. Yeah, can I get them for free? My son has been looking for some. Are you stupid? The answer to that question is yes. Most of these beggars are pretty damn stupid. This next one is from My Lovely Life. Attorney and school psychologists need help with occasional meal prep, house cleaning, making sure the kids don't burn the house down, helping to make sure homework is completed, and driving twins to school in Brooklyn three days a week. The children reside part-time in the home and are largely self-sufficient, other than the twins commuting to school. We are looking to exchange services for sharing home. Caregiver will be provided access to the entire home, but will have a private kitchenette, bath, and bed entrance. We will be asking for the caregiver to share in up to $600 to $900 in monthly household expenses, depending on the services the caregiver is willing and able to provide. No other compensation is offered. Bilingual, Spanish, English preferred. Why would somebody want to literally pay to, to to come do work? Yeah, you're offering them a place to stay, but technically you should be sharing your home in exchange for the services and not asking them to kick anything up, especially since you want them to do all that extra stuff. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I just think a lot of these are absolutely insane. And our final one is by Wet Alligator 89 I'm not sure why the ratings are so high on these guys. Yes, they scheduled me quickly after paying $25 fee to get them to my house, but they did the small amount of work I had to move. They were here less than 30 minutes and I was out $175. No moving people are worth this amount of money for such a short job. Yes, they came quickly. Yes, they did what I asked, but at a high cost. Next time, I'll look for someone more reasonable. Thank you for the feedback, Lori. It sounds like you had a good overall experience with the movers, and that is what matters most to us. We are sorry you feel our prices are a bit high, but we are a legal, licensed, and insured moving company, and we pride ourselves on paying the movers a fair wage. We frankly could not afford to stay open if we lowered them anymore. We do always try to make it clear what you will be paying ahead of time before your move date as all of our prices can be found on our website and our ads that we place. We hope you can understand. Happy New Year! I'm glad they mentioned it because I was literally going to list off, I mean, they have to be licensed, insured, there's a whole cabinet of things that a moving company has to make sure they can have covered before they even touch somebody's stuff. Unfortunately, this beggar doesn't understand that. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.